Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The foundations of Iowa and Wisconsin football are built on four values. Toughness, strength, and competitive spirit. But only one will have bragging rights at the end of the battle for the Heartland Trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. to bring you this great gridiron rivalry. And let me tell you, there's a lot of animosity between these two programs. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's taken down at the 25. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. gets rid of it. The Hawkeyes always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. receiver and he can't make the grab well he tried to thread the needle with that pass well here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage he needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver he sails it long in and out of his hands Brad, you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? Brown is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 48. So the Badgers in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him to football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome, and I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Take him down immediately. That's good for seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. He's 
going to try to cough and corner this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. After a decent run up the gut. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's tackled right around the 34. I'm not even sure if this young quarterback even noticed that both middle linebackers were rushing towards him. He is so poised, and he knows he's got receivers who can make plays. Quick throw, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. The linebacker here fights on the play fake, and once that happens, there's plenty of room for a nice completion. First and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. They give to the tailback, and they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Taken down at the 35-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! Tackle at the 27-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They get nice yardage on that run. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. It's the ninth play of the drive. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Let's go. Check, check. Brought down at about the seven-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He goes out of bounds around the one yard line. So at the end of one, still no score. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Iowa! And he 
converts the extra point. So a 12 play, 79 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's stopped behind the line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Throws it deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He's to the 40. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 37. That's a deep 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 deep. Deep. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets out to around the 28. First down. Two tights, two tights. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. First down. From the 15 yard line. It's first down. Runs it and tackle in the backfield. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This is the ninth play of the current drive. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Sacked on the play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. 
So an 11 play 69 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running lanes. We're even at seven in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off from the five yard line. Brought down at the 30 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 41. Get to that quickly. Good open field tackle. Yard line. Second down. Here we go. He's hit and taken down. down and he's out of bounds. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this a second and long. He steps out at the 30. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's looking for six. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Iowa lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. so they can't connect. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 22 yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled right around the 30. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job.
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice run to the outside. A great first half comes to a close. 14-7, Iowa. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He's out to the 30. And he's hammered down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. Third down and 12. Ball on the 37-yard line. Zips it to the back, and he's hit immediately. Marcus is the punter. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He showed a good burst there. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Iowa is up seven. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tackle. 
Michael outside after a nice pickup. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. And he hits him hard to the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. Seven points. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle around the 23 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. And down he goes at the 20. From the 20 yard line. First down. Brought down at about the 11. That brings up second and one. This is the 10th play of this drive. First and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. And he's taken down at about the five yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Man left, man left. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Here we go. Keep 15. And he's tackled right away. That's a way to hit. Game of yards. That makes it third and goal. That's three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Gotta be careful of a pass play with this defense. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And he's tackled at the 17. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. First down. 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 29. The ball is loose. And the defense is on it. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 35-yard line. Second down. Coming to you, coming to you. Cut! Cut! Whiteout makes the first down catch. Tackle made around the 11 yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Ready! Green 95! Check, check! Regular, regular, regular! He's gobbled up in the backfield. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up third and 14. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Less than three minutes in the game. Kicks up, and it's good. Iowa, kick this one off. Jackson, from the two. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Wisconsin's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And they got it. Fires out to his wideout, and he's immediately tackled. On the 
catch. Oh, they strip it out. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. and it's almost picked off. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Just over a minute left. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 37. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop around the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Set. Green 88. Green 88. Pressure coming. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Just throws this one away. They'll line it up again on third down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. We have less than a minute to go. Fires a bullet out to the right. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 35. First and ten, ball on their own 35. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. And that should do it, our final tally in this one. 24 to seven, Iowa. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.